how do we tell the difference between the punch down tools that are used for the 66 block versus the 110 block? If we look at the blocks themselves, we can see that 66 block has a different configuration for the pins than that of the 110 block. The 66 block has a horizontal arrangement for the pins that hold the wires in place, whereas the 110 block has a vertical or up and down arrangement for the pins. So in looking at the two different types of blocks, um, it makes sense and it's natural that the orientation for the tool itself, one has to be horizontal and one has to be vertical. So if we take a look at the standard 66 block 110 punch down tool, if we take a look at this tool, the bit that's in here with the blade on it, you can see that it has a horizontal orientation associated with it. This particular one has the blade to do the cutting, the cutting surface, when we impact and place the, um, the wire into the terminal. So if we take a look at the 66 block, we orient it so it says top on the top, we can see that when we place the blade over the terminals itself, they actually slide together. And the blade being on the bottom, when we orient the, um, the wire through the terminal, um, it will cut it off. So as we slide the blade horizontally over the, um, over the tines of the connector and press on it, we hear that impact. You hear that click? That click is the impact that actually shears off the wire on the bottom side of the terminal. If we had it reversed and you did that and you punched it down, you would end up shearing the wire off at the top and you would end up having to start all over again. So the 110 or the 66 block tool um, has the ori or horizontal orientation for the 66 block. If we remove the tool, we'll notice that on the other end of the blade side, we have a non-blade tool tip. The non-blade tool tip is used for cross-connecting between blocks. So when you use the non-blade tool tip and place it over the top of the, um, of the terminals itself and push down on it, all it does is place the wire in between the grooves of the tine and you get no shearing or cutting off of the wire. The 110 block uses a different tip and has a different orientation. If we place the 110 block tip in the tool and compare the two, you will see that it has a very small blade associated with it with respect to that of the 66 block. We only need a small cutting surface in the vertical orientation to do our punch down and termination on the 110 block. Okay, if we take a look at our 110 block, this one you probably can't see very well, but it's actually color coded and it has the pair groups identified by some light colors on here. White, red, black, yellow, and violet. So now with the 110 tool with the blade cutter on it, again, as you bring the, the cable in through the trough here and load the wires upwards or downwards if you're using this one, but let's say upwards here into this one, you're going to want to orient the blade so again, it's on the top, the far side of the terminal, and when you place it into the groove here, again, pressing on it, you hear the, the snap, and that snap is the impact that causes the wire to be cut off. Just like the 110, or the 66 block, 
that has the non-cutting surface on it, no blade, the 110 also has a no blade side. And we orient this onto the block itself and we do the punch down. When we snap it into place, all it does is drive the wire into the slot and it leaves the wire on. It does not cut it off. So it will depend upon which uh, type of punch down or termination that you are going to do. If we look at a couple of different flavors of 110 blocks, this one doesn't have the color orientation on it. It does have the groups identified every five pairs. This one's a little nicer in that it, you actually have a map. It's got the colors on there for you. So with this one, you would have to know and keep track yourself of the white, red, black, gold, and violet. Of course, the best way to do these and to terminate them is to have them terminated onto a backboard so that they are nice, secure, and in place, and you don't have the cable walking on you. So um, the 110 block, unlike the 66 block, does not have metal terminations in the block itself. It's just a plastic holder, and you end up using clips over the top for the cross connect and we'll talk about that later. So that's the difference between the 110 and the 66 block. I hope that uh, will help you and clear up the questions. Again, you can look at these and see the orientations of the blades, one horizontal, one vertical, the blades being there, and then if I rotate them, you can see in both orientations I have no blade on the other side. So that's used just for a cross connect. Again, they're only used on the standard 66 block, 110 block termination tool. I hope that clears up uh, the confusion. Thank you.